So, uh, so we are also uh, interested in this kind of uh, uh, work. And uh, so what do we do? And uh, we basically go back to think about the offsite, which I worked on it uh, some 10 years ago. Um, so offsite, people know very well, is actually uh, one of the most fascinating family in, in condensed matter basically in the past 20 years. First is high temperature superconductivity discovered by Mao Kun Wu and uh, Paul Chu, okay? The second interesting thing is so-called uh, uh, colossal magneto resistance. Grace also working on that, okay? And now, later on, we have this uh, uh, half metallic, uh, parallel electric, and uh, uh, 10 years ago, we also worked on charge orbital ordering on that. But all these materials are 3D transition metal oxide. They are, the electron correlation is very strong. Okay, now strong correlation typically mean that uh, we are getting multi insulate multi insulate generally are uh, topological trivial. Okay, so then we turn into a heavier transition metal oxide. Okay, so basically 4D and 5D transition metal uh, oxide to look for trend insulate. Now, the reason is that 4D and 5D orbital are larger than 3D. <coughs> so then we have uh, 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 also atomic number are larger. We have larger spin orbit coupling. Hopefully we have larger topological insulating gap, okay? And larger spin orbit, uh, larger orbital extent, we have uh, a strong uh, exchange uh, interaction so that we can have higher Curie temperature. Okay? And also we should look for crystalline material rather than dope with the impurity. Okay, so then uh, let me uh, talk, talk about uh, two systems we have been working on. Now this is the system uh, we, uh, we look at the first. Okay, this is uh, uh, we uh, actually uh, already uh, work on by uh, uh, group in uh, Kanagi Mellor, uh, CLDS group, they theorized that uh, for this kind of uh, cubic perovskite, if you uh, uh, grow along one one direction, okay, two layers, and this two layer, and then it <coughs> look like honeycomb. I say that the honeycomb is very special. You can see that, okay? With this honeycomb metallic uh, 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 structure, you likely to have drug comb, okay? Now, when you include spin orbit coupling, then the bank hopefully will open at the direct point, and then the system will become topological insulated. Okay, and that's uh, what they think. And they uh, uh, they look at the, uh, quite a few metallic perovskite 4D and 5D system, and uh, then uh, do a tight binding model calculation, and they indeed show that uh, uh, this is the gap. Okay. And uh, uh, a lot of, and when you include spin orbit coupling, you open a gap at this direct point. And they also calculate chain number, uh, no, uh, C2 topological invariant number. And they found that if Fermi level is here and uh, uh, here, and then we become topological uh, insulate, non magnetic topological insulate. Okay? And, uh, and then they demonstrate uh, for real material by perform first principle calculation, and they found that this is uh, uh, TI means topological interior, okay? Now, what do we do? We simply uh, follow this work, and then uh, do a magnetic calculation, okay? So, but we expand the candidate pool, okay? We consider many, many metallic perovskite with a partially, partially filled uh, T, T2G uh, band and the EG band. Okay, so that too. and you can see that uh, uh, this uh, we 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 make two more layer of this metallic perovskite and put it in the insulating uh, perovskite like uh, lanthanum, aluminum oxide, or strontium titanate. Okay, and uh, and then we perform spin polarized calculation, and we found that uh, for all this material, we found six <coughs> of them become ferromagnetic. Okay, we calculate Curie temperature which is very high, okay, much higher than 15 Kelvin. And we also work out exchange coupling between magnetic uh, 
uh, uh, ions, and we found that all this uh, material want to become uh, want to become a uh, 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 ferromagnetic couple. Okay. Uh, so uh, they all want to become ferromagnetic couples. Okay. Even though in this honeycomb metal. Now uh, the point is that all these are uh, metallic except uh, this one. Okay. It's insulated. Now uh, another thing for spintronic is that many of these are half metallic. Maybe some of you do not know half metallic. Half metallic means that uh, uh, the we electron can have spin up and spin down. For one spin is insulating, the other spin is uh, 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 conducting. So when you use this kind of material for as the electron lead, you have pure only one spin electron moving in the system, and you can use this material to generate uh, fully spin polarized current. Okay, and uh, uh, so the conclusion is that uh, uh, in this kind of system, we have uh, large exchange coupling and high Curie temperature. That's good. Okay, and uh, this is uh, insulated. Okay, and uh, the rest are uh, metallic, and these are half me half metal. Okay. Now the the question is this: uh, this just demonstrates that indeed the the color means uh, spin up and spin down. Okay. This uh, blue means uh, spin down. You can see that at the Fermi level, they are all blue here. Okay? So this half metal. Now, uh, we look at uh, this system. Uh, this system, the band gap is actually near the Dirac point. Okay? When we include spin optic coupling, um, a band gap is open near this Dirac point. The question is, we could expect it become a topological non-trivial. Now, but we have to prove that. Okay, so what do we do? Uh, uh, before I show you that, uh, I just want to show that uh, this uh, uh, conducting electron cloud indeed combined with two uh, uh, layers. Okay, so and also spin, uh, 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 spin charge, uh, spin density also focus on this uh, uh, two layers. Okay, so uh, now the the key point is that. Uh, uh, whether this is topological trivial or not, okay? And uh, so, what do we have to do with it? Before I remember, uh, you remember that I tell you that uh, if we calculate the trend number, if trend number is non-zero, and then we demonstrate it's topological non-trivial, isn't it? So in so then we perform uh, 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 conducting calculation, okay? And using a Barry curvature, and this is the expression for Barry curvature. And then we, uh, uh, we calculate that and we found that uh, uh, this uh, conductor is quantized to two, i.e. churn number equal to two. So indeed, we found that uh, this system is uh, topological non-trivial and uh, uh, it should be able to find the uh, uh, quantum enormous hall effect or quantum hall effect without uh, uh, magnetization. So, um, so that's one system we found. But as you can see that the Curie temperature is very high. Um, if our prediction is correct, one should be able to see um, uh, uh, quantum or effect in this system at a higher temperature. Okay, and then uh, we also work on this uh, very uh, uh, peculiar system. And if people work on oxide before, say about 10 years ago, uh, this uh, cobalt dioxide become very interesting because it's a uh, uh, very good thermoelectric material and also becomes superconducting at a low temperature. As I said, instead of looking at the 3D transition metal like a cobalt, we're looking at the 4D transition metal. Okay? We replace cobalt with a, a rhodium. Okay? And then we calculate uh, uh, many uh, magnetic structures. Basically, we explore all the two by two super cell magnetic structure. And then we found that uh, 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 these are the stable uh, magnetic structure. Okay? And uh, to our surprise, we found that uh, this so called non coplanar, uh, I'll show you. This uh, uh, magnetic structure, I don't know whether you can see clearly. This uh, arrow means uh, spin of the uh, sitting on the atom. Okay, you can see that uh, uh, they are not 
within the same thread. Uh, three of them stick out up and one going down. The, if you sum all these uh, magnetic moments together, it becomes zero. So it's called anti ferromagnetic But it's uh, because they are not in the same thread, so terminology is called non coplanar anti antiferromagnetic Okay? Now, uh, so we found that this uh, funny magnetic configuration actually has the lowest energy. Okay, the rest, you can see the energy is higher than that. And uh, furthermore, this system is actually insulating. And uh, the gap is 0.22, which compared with the 10 milli electron volt is gigantic. Okay, now we also calculate exchange coupling parameter. Okay, between two neighboring uh, 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 magnetic atoms, or uh, rhodium. And we found that uh, if we divide J1 by J2 and compare with this uh, uh, so phase diagram. Uh, can I change the battery? Um, so you uh, compare with the phase diagram, you will find out that uh, um, uh, our result consistent, basically, uh, you can see that the, uh, the value we have is within this region, which is non collinear magnetic. Okay, but that's probably not the point of my talk today. So then we have to inquire whether this uh, ordinary semiconductor or its topological non trivial semiconductor. Okay, and we again, like a previous system, we calculate uh, enormous Hall conductivity, which expressed in terms of very curvature. And uh, indeed, uh, we find it's non-zero. And it's equal to two. So that means we have churn number equal to two. OK? According to bulk edge correspondence, we should have uh, two metallic edge state. OK? So we prove that by calculating a ribbon like that. OK? And this is the band structure. This is the bulk band structure. And we have uh, two edge state along one side and another two edges that on, on the other side of this river. So indeed, we not only calculate churn number and also calculate edge band structure, they both give consistent results. These are the uh, 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 quantum enormous or phase. Okay? Now, the question is, um, um, in this system, we have net magnetization equal to zero. Okay? And uh, so far, we did not include spin-off coupling yet. So this is not to conform with the, the theory I tell you before. We need a spin orbit coupling, and we need a ferromagnetism. OK? Then the question is, where this uh, 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 quantum enormous hall phase come from? Now, then I go back to uh, a long time ago, uh, this uh, Tokyo University Takula group published uh, a paper in science. They, they claim that uh, we can have enormous pole effect without spin off coupling and uh, 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 without the uh, net magnetization. Okay? As long as we have this uh, non covalent spin structure. Okay? This is three spin structure, and if electron moving around this uh, structure, you will see a magnetic flux, okay? like Hortense model. And this will give rise to so-called enormous Hall effect. Okay? And but because it's not due to spin off coupling and the ferromagnetic, so this is called unconventional mechanism, it's called topological Hall effect. But the effect they observe is less than or about one percent of uh, the conducting quantum. It's very tiny. Okay? But because this is the first observation, so this is very significant. And then we in, interpret this, uh, the quantum enormous Hall phase we find in terms of this uh, topological uh, Hall effect, okay, quantized version of that. So um, let's, let's see whether this uh, theory can, can, can be consistent. So then we find that uh, if you move all these four atoms together, and uh, the arrow at the, 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 the beginning <coughs> to, the, to, the, to the coordinate cent uh, center. And then this four spin moment span 
uh, a union sphere. Okay, we know that the union sphere has the solid angle of four pi. Okay, then the belly face is uh, half of the solid angle. Okay, and then churn number is equal to uh, 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 two pi multiplied. Uh, well, yeah, uh, it is equal to a belly face divided by two pi. And uh, so this is one layer. We we have two pi divided by two pi. If we get one churn number, but we have two layers here. Okay, so we got the churn number to two, two. So everything is consistent. We not only find a quantum enormous whole face. In fact, we find an exotic quantum topological whole face. Okay, completely different microscopic mechanism. Okay, so that's. Uh, 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 to, to, to me, that's quite a significant finding. Okay, but then we know that uh, we are not a god. Okay, we cannot switch our spin on coupling. So we have to put the, put the everything back to, as like a, in the real world. So then we put the spin orbit coupling back, and that's what we got. We still have this finger. Okay, and the quantized uh, 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 conductor. So that proved that. Uh, uh, spin orbit coupling is not essential to get this uh, quantum enormous whole phase. And also, we calculate all the total energy again. This non covalent anti ferromagnetism is, is still the ground state, although the bank have reduced slightly from 0.22 EV to uh, uh, 0 0.116. Okay? So, but that's the uh, uh, quality, okay, we, even you put the uh, spin orbit coupling back, in, uh, like in a real system, we still have this uh, uh, chiral low anti ferromagnetic state with the uh, uh, insulating gap. Okay, so uh, I already used up my time. So that would be the conclusion. Uh, layer 4D and 5D transition metal oxide are good candidates for uh, uh, magnetic quantum and magnetic topological insulate. Okay, or uh, now better known as churn insulate because of, in, in terms of Chen Shen Shen's Chen Su, okay? So, uh, uh, now because the 4D and 5D transition metal has a uh, stronger spin of coupling, which will open a big bank gap, and uh, a weak or moderate spin uh, correlation, okay? Unlike 3, 3D, uh, which you will have extend the D orbital and give, give us stronger uh, 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 magnetization. So, uh, based on this uh, first principle of density functional calculation, we predict this uh, high temperature quantum enormous whole phase in two family of oxide. One is uh, 4D and 5D perovskite bilayer, and the other is uh, this uh, uh, chiral anti ferromagnetic potassium rhodium dioxide. Okay. Now, we fully ana analyze the mechanism of this two family and we found that uh, in this uh, perovskite case, it's conventional quantum enormous whole phase, okay? But uh, in, the, in this chiral anti ferromagnetic system, it's, uh, this is actually due to uh, um, quantum topological Hall effect, okay? And uh, before I finish my talk, I'd like to thank, uh, the first system was, uh, calculation was done mainly by my uh, Indian postdoc, he now returned to India. And the uh, second uh, system was to uh, uh, carry out the calculation. I also did some calculation by my former postdoc, now he's an uh, associate professor in Nanjing University. And his uh, classmate, Liang Qi Feng, in Shaoxing University. And all kinds of funding is very important. Okay, also thank you for your attention. Hello. Yeah, this is uh, really a very, very nice talk. I enjoy it very much because I work in this field. Uh, last time, but you give a very detailed uh, historical account so they let us understand the relation between all this. Uh, you know, it's really very good. I learned quite a few things. Thank you. And is there any question? No? <laughs> yeah. Because the transfer usually 
So this actually means uh, skew scattering, as you said, or morphic scattering. You know, people use this kind of scattering to measure, like to do a spin detector used to use for Google search. So in Shiji, uh, uh, first time you said that uh, you can only see this uh, anomalous quantum flow effect below something like the 30 mini k. Yeah. So what would be the highest sample you can get with this? At the I moment, uh, uh, you know, like one, one kind of, uh -huh. you repeat similar system, but only go up to maybe uh, 50 millikilogram or something. 50, but that's yeah, still very low, right? Still parking. <laughs> I think uh, people probably has a break one kilogram limit. Uh -huh. Yeah, many people, unlike the Morning Compass experiment, this experiment has been repeated all over the world. Yeah. But uh, nobody actually go go up to the more than one camera. So I think well, I, I, up to the But how about you you say you can increase that temperature? Well that's with, your, with, the, with your system. Yeah, but uh, as uh, Grace already asked if we consider this uh, skew scattering and things. Uh -huh. I, I'm not sure. But at least we predict higher curie temperature. That's important. Okay. okay, so higher curative temperature means that, you know, it's you can say it's possible to see at a higher yeah, temperature. And, uh, you need a larger segment. Uh-huh, yeah. okay. So you yeah. know that uh, uh, one milli electron volt is equal to uh, 10 to the power. One milli electron volt is about 20. Uh, Very low temperature. Uh, uh, 25 milli electron volt is room temperature. Right, so roughly, right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, one milli electron volt. As, uh, you know, 10 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 Kelvin. Yeah. So, uh, at least you. Yeah, maybe now is the time that uh, some experimental people uh, can follow some tradition. <laughs> like uh, John Barnes' experiment. And okay. uh, uh, the latest example is the high temperature superconductor you mentioned last year. Uh -huh. uh, uh, okay. uh, this German people. Somehow it's unique. They believe the electrical prediction, and they did the experiment. That's all the engineer can do. But cannot do experiment. <laughs> okay. Any more question? Yeah. Just a, a simple one because I'm not a computer guy at all. So this not is why. <laughs> this is quite a good tutorial to me. Yeah, okay. So, uh, but this will, according to the TA, I, I will put it on our whatever website. Yeah, you, 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 you can download. Okay. Yeah. You, you can download the yeah. PPT. Okay, from the website, you can, you know, you can see the video in the YouTube. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, so okay. As I said, I'm not an expert on what they want, but I just. Uh, Read it and summarize. Yeah, it's a, it's a very good summary. Okay. 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 I just have a small question in your concluding remark. Oh. The last point. So okay. you have mentioned that uh, certain spin texture is useful for uh, looking for. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This uh, so called, uh, uh, this name is called Kylo, or oh, it's also called topological non trivial. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, uh, something I know a long time ago when, you know, Takura is uh, famous in Oxford. Yeah, yeah, he always pioneered many phenomena. Yeah, yeah. This one of them. Yeah, and then if we take go back to your theoretical prediction about the Maksai interface, then uh, for the lesson of the Maksai system, 
Yeah, actually, uh, I just realized that it's a long spin state, and then which means the last processor uh, is holding of this uh, after he will sell. Yeah. And then you propose uh, the interface of the hard disk one on one. Yeah. And then well, which, yeah. Yeah. Which means that. Yeah, we, uh, to answer that, we actually did uh, three configurations. One is ferromagnetic. The other is called uh, zigzag. You know, this is ferromagnetic chain like this, okay? And the other is called uh, uh, interlayer. Uh, the layer below is uh, spin down. Yeah, well, this uh, uh, hero one is spin down, the one layer, okay? And then this prong one is spin up. So, so this another energy parameter. And with this uh, total energy for this three magnetic configuration, and then we map the total energy to this so called Heisenberg model, we determine J1, J2. So, we already done three configurations, and we found in all the system ferromagnetic has the lowest energy. Yeah. But of course, the, we did atomic structure optimization, but we only allowed Eplan to move <laughs> uh, uh, out of frame, not the implant. So your question may be need more, 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 more sophisticated relaxation. Okay, any more questions? Okay, if not, let's thank our speaker for a wonderful talk. Okay.